Hi, I'm Andy, the Trend Follower. It's Saturday the 18th of February 2023. Welcome to this week's review of the different asset classes. I don't know which asset classes are going to do best, so I follow seven of them. Shares, property, gold, commodities, cryptocurrency, bonds and foreign exchange. Let's have a look at shares. First of all, and not much change for my shares fund. Uh, this week, it's still below the MA52, the average price for the year. This green line here, it's below that, so I'm in cash. Let's look at property next. And the property fund that I follow also didn't change much uh, in price this week. It too is below the green line, so I'm in cash here too. Gold is up next, and my gold investment dropped further this week. You can see that it's been falling uh, from a high uh, earlier in the year, uh, but it's still above the MA52, so I remain invested in gold. Let's look at commodities next, and my commodities investment fell slightly this week, but it's above the MA52 as well, so I'm invested in my commodities fund also. Crypto is up next, and my crypto proxy fell this week. You can see a couple of weeks ago, I thought it was going to rise up above the MA52. This last week and the week before, it's fallen. So no buy signal for my crypto proxy just yet. Now, the reason I use a proxy is because I can't trade crypto within my tax-efficient uh, accounts. So I have to use something that approximates to the movement of uh, of cryptocurrencies. But have a look at this. This is the Bitcoin price. Uh, Bitcoin price is on the up again. So it hasn't risen above the MA52 yet. So no buy signal for Bitcoin for me, but it's, it's just uh, waiting to happen, I think. So uh, we'll see uh, when that happens. Let's look at bonds now. And my bond fund dropped further this week. Uh, the week before it had also dropped. Um, so I'm in cash uh, in this section of the high as well. Let's look at Forex next, uh, Euro dollar specifically, that's what I trade and the Euro dollar uh, didn't change much in price this week, fairly level. Uh, I'm still long uh, the Euro against the dollar. Let's look at the traffic lights for each of the asset classes this week and my shares fund is on a red, so I'm in cash. Property remains red, I'm in cash here. Gold is green, I'm invested. Same with commodities, I'm investing in commodities, it's a green light. Cryptocurrency is red uh, at the moment, but uh, waiting for a buy signal to appear. Uh, Ditto bonds, uh, it's falling, uh, it's below the, the green line, so bonds is a red. Uh, euro dollar uh, is green, so I'm long the euro dollar. What do I have to do this week? Well, just move my stop loss orders up uh, a little bit. That's all, it's really simple. Do you want to see a weekly update? Make sure you're signed up to my Substack. I'm not a financial advisor, though. Uh, what I'm talking about here is just about what I do. It's not advice from me to you. It's all about me. I make no claim about how the strategy might perform for me or indeed anybody else who copies me uh, in the future. If you do so, you might end up living in a cardboard box. Regard this as entertainment, like gambling. And we should always be grateful for our good fortune. So do give some money to help the earthquake refugees, the terrible earthquake in uh, Turkey and Syria. You can do that via the UNHCR uh, donation line. Okay, have a great week. I'll do another video next weekend. Take care. Bye.